Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And first, I'd just like to say thank you for everyone's prayers that have been praying for me for the last week, as I have been very ill. But praise God because of His mercy, and that a new every morning, and also His healing power that He has healed and recovered me. Hallelujah! So the Bible says, according to Luke 11, it says, "So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you." Seek and you will find, knock and it shall be opened to you. For anyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. And if a son asks for a bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, will he be offered a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who seek Him? Somebody say, praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is a gift from the Father that wants to give. To you, not just once on a once-off occasion, for you just to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but rather that you would receive the Holy Spirit more each and every day, precious saints. So I want you to get ready to receive more of the Holy Spirit today, as we ask the Father to send us more of His. Holy Spirit. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask for your mercy today. And we know that we have been born of the Spirit. We know that we are sealed by the Spirit and that we are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And that is why we are asking you, especially today, Father, for a fresh work of the Spirit within our lives. You are a good, good Father and a generous one at that, who will always give us good gifts when we ask for the those gifts to come and we thank you that you've sent your son to die for us for you are the most big-hearted and open-handed father imaginable we know that you would not give us a snake a scorpion when we ask but the, the grace you have given us grace unto grace and still more grace many times over and we thank you father so father today without doubting your promises to us when we ask we are asking today without shame or hesitation we ask for a fresh outpouring of your spirit upon us today for you already have acknowledged our need for more of your presence within our lives and so we ask for a fresh stirring and filling of your holy spirit today for we see that you are doing a new thing within this hour and we do not want you to pass us by because we know that there is a new season that is ahead of us but we ask for a new work of your spirit within our lives lord we ask you for the outpouring of the holy spirit pour out your spirit on us afresh for so we really need revival in this hour so pour out your spirit on all that are listening today, both men and female. Yes, both male and female today, both young and old, both slave and free. Pour out your spirit. Cleanse us. Cleanse us today. Cleanse out our ears so that we can hear your word and speak your words today. Let us prophesy and speak forth with boldness. Let us move in the gifts of your Holy Spirit and let us bear the fruit of your Spirit. Prepare us for whatever epic 
battles may lie ahead. Lord, whatever the enemy is planning against your people today, turn it around and render it powerless and use for our good and for your glory. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing. And in this outpouring of your spirit, we ask for lost souls to be returned to you. Give us a harvest of people calling on your name. We request a mass exodus of those escaping from the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light. Give us a total jailbreak of all those that have been oppressed in bondage and brought now into your marvelous light. For when they call upon your name, you shall save them, Lord. People who have been in gross darkness of slavery within the kingdom of darkness shall run free in Jesus' mighty name. For they will taste and see that you are a good father and that they will discover the freedom that can only be found in your kingdom Lord your governance your rule father we are so desperate for more of you and we know that apart from you and apart from your spirit we cannot do what you have called us to do so father by the power that raised Jesus from the dead free us from all our spiritual blockages injuries, sicknesses, addictions, and weaknesses in Jesus' mighty name. Open the eyes of our hearts today to see more of Jesus. Let us behold his beauty. Let us face down on the ground from a renewed awareness of his glory and grace and grant us today a humble spirit. There is none but you, Lord, and we worship you today in spirit and in truth in Jesus' mighty name. Grant our petition to know the height, to know the depth, to know the width, and to know the breadth of your love for us, a love that surpasses knowledge, the only love that is better than life, the only love that is enough. You've poured out your love into our hearts before, so do it again today, O oh Lord. Do it again and again. May the love of your Son Jesus be the most compelling and propelling force within our lives, turning our whining into worship, our timidity into into fearless faith, small dreams into kingdom vision, and how hesitations to making then much greater risk for the sake of your kingdom. Yes, Lord, complete do your work in us that we may be surrendered vessels for your glory. Lord, we ask today for a fresh filling and baptizing of your Holy Spirit on our lives today. So let there be a breakout of fresh revelations, of fresh prophecy, of fresh visions and dreams this day upon each person that is listening to the sound of this voice today in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray within this season and always in the days ahead. Help us to pray the will of the Father and not pray amiss in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for a powerful outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon every hungry heart that is listening, every thirsty soul that wants more of you in Jesus' mighty name. You promised us, Father, that you would not leave us orphaned and that you not only sent us your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, but the gift of your Holy Spirit to remain within us until you call us home. So be with us today, Father, in our confusion and in our disappointments when we do not know where to go, but we know that you've promised to be with us. Grant that we may hear your call to even silence and prayer and to withdraw to be in that secret place. For we know, Lord, that you desire more of us and we desire more of you, even more than the air we breathe. Send a fresh outpouring of your spirit. Yes, we ask that you would pour out on us at a fresh of your Holy Spirit today 
today that we may be better witnesses to you in our families, in our communities, and in the places of our work and wherever we are situated. Oh Lord, help us and help restore our hearts today fully to you. Help us to learn to pray fervently for our hearts to change, for our hearts to be more compassionate and filled with your son Jesus. Yes, his supernatural love. Help us to love our neighbors and for those that we may disagree with, for those who have hurt us and for those that may have also be far from us open our minds and our hearts to see everyone as your children father and help us to pray for them by name in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit restore to us the joy of your salvation renew our love for the beauty and freedom of holiness and intensity and intensify today our awareness and excitement for heaven indeed father you are working all things for your glory and for our good and you alone are going to receive all the glory and honor we know father that all things work together for good for those who love you and are called according to your purpose and i pray for each person that is listening today lord that you would touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet father yes father come and touch them and send your holy spirit we thank you for sending your son jesus christ to die for us but we need more of you we need a fresh touch of your Holy Spirit today come and touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet just come and touch them and bring peace and love in their hearts today as they seek you in the secret place as they go deeper into that place of intimacy with you come and touch them and fill them today in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe Amen and Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this particular prayer today, we encourage you, forward it to a friend that may also need this encouragement, may need this prayer prayer today and also you can uh, subscribe to our youtube channel you can follow us on rumble go to our facebook page or instagram page or even our free website repentancerevival.com so from my family to yours god bless you we love you we are praying for you precious saints shalom 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 